Mr. Ang Wei Neng. Mr. Deputy Speaker, sir, the Dental Registration Amendment Bill will require, will require the increasing proportion of foreign trained dentists in Singapore to be subjected to the mandatory qualifying examinations. This to ensure that the competency and standard are aligned with those of local dental graduates. I support the Amendment Bill. Quality dental care is something which all of us, all Singaporeans, will benefit from. However, I want to take a step back to question the current system of training dentists and the target dentist to population ratio. It appears to me that we are introducing these amendments because we do not have enough Singaporean trained, Singapore trained dentists. And we want to make sure that those who study, who study dentistry overseas are of a good standard. Why don't we train more dentists in Singapore? Back in 2017, a Straits Times article had already pointed out that Singapore was not training enough dentists to meet the needs of the growing and aging population. The proportion of foreign trained dentists in Singapore had risen significantly from 20% in 2008 to 36% in 2019. So in 2019, 900 out of a total of 2,475 dentists are foreign trained. I also understand that many of those who are obtained their dentistry degree overseas are Singaporean and PRs. This is not surprising, as the Faculty of Dentistry at the National University of Singapore only has a small intake of 44 students in 2008, although it has increased to 80 this year. Even then, many Singaporeans who have very good grades, many with perfect university admission score of 90 points, cannot get into the dentistry. As a result, many of them, many of the rejected aspiring dentistry students have to ask the family to fork up a fortune for them to pursue a dentistry degree overseas. Thus, I would like to ask the Senior Minister of State if MOH can consider increasing the capacity of the dentistry course at NUS. If NUS have no capacity, can we consider opening up another dental school in, say, NTU, so that we can meet aspirations of the Singaporeans and solve the insufficient supply of the dentists in Singapore? Or is that intention to restrict the number of locally trained dentists? Ultimately, how many local and overseas trained dentists we need is contingent on the target dentist to population ratio. I understand MOH target ratio is one dentist to 2,200 people. Is that enough? Currently, our dentist to population ratio is 1 is to 2304, 2304. An improvement from 1 is to 3215 in 2010. And the question is, how do we derive the target of one dentist to 2,200 people? Comparing to other countries' dentist to population ratios, South Korea's was 1 is to 2,000 in 2018. United States was 1 to 1638 in 2020, and Israel was 1 to 1,400 in 2017, and Japan was 1 is to, to 1,250 in 2014. So if Singapore targets of 1 is to 2,200 are uh, two conservative figures, today MOH recommend us to consult a dentist twice a year. How many Singaporeans are really consulting a dentist every six months? Many Singaporeans that I know of don't. Why? The cost of scaling and checking your, your teeth by the dentist in the HDB estate will easily set you back by more than $100. And it's not mandatory for companies to provide dental benefits. If you want to save some money and consult a dentist at a polyclinic, it will cost you about $30 to $50, but you have to wait for months before you can, have a, can make an appointment to see the dentist in the polyclinic. Why is this so? Is it because MOH does not consider oral health as basic health care? Or is it a way to suppress the need to increase the dentist to population ratio? Meanwhile, we understand that Blue Child's medical and pioneer generation card holders receive subsidies 
when they visit private dentists for routine checkup. To make oral care more affordable, I would like to appeal to MOH to extend the subsidies to orange and green child card holders. At the same time, I would like to appeal to MOM to make it compulsory for all companies to provide workers with dental benefits in Singapore. Mr. Deputy Speaker, sir, in Mandarin, please. Wishampoo 到私人牙医诊所人力部强制户主给予员工牙医津贴对牙医的需求也会增加长期来说 Mr. Deputy Speaker, sir, we hope that MOH could revamp the dentistry industry in Singapore and provide more subsidies for dental care. Otherwise, Singaporeans that opt to see a dentist at a polyclinic has to dang gu gu, wait long long. If you cannot wait and to see a private dentist, then you have to pay high high, and this is not ideal. Thank you.